together for your next performer. He's getting very close to the stage. Give it up for Zach Hunt. Thank you. All right, my name is Zach Hunt, or as I appear before you, flavorless Flay. <laughs> Unlike Bacardi, which always has flavor. All right, a little about me also. I live on the southwest side of Indianapolis, where all you hear are planes and gunshots, or as I call it, the wild, wild southwest. And earlier today, I got into a heated argument with my buddy. He's super Christian, you know, like die on the cross. Me, I kind of dabble, Messiah curious. And, uh, you know, we were having this heated debate in a place that I didn't think we should. It was the temple of the Lord, Chick-fil-A. But he's like, you can't show me one instance where the government sides with Christianity over any other religion when it comes to separation of church and state. I said, bet I can. He said, prove it. Okay, why are they always installing crosswalks? <laughs> and the pickle peddler, anybody ever rode that downtown Indianapolis? Do you know what it is? Yeah. When drunk people get on a cart and sing Journey going around downtown? <laughs> well, anyways, you know, I'm all for that. It's a very good thing to do with your family or friends. Only kind of grab I have against it, I am firmly against human trafficking. <laughs> and since we're on the topic of humans and traffic, why do we establish that 25 miles per hour is the appropriate speed to run over a child at? I mean, literally in the trailer park, you can't exceed 10, but in a school zone, gun it, buddy. <laughs> and since we're on the topic of roads, earlier this year, there was a push by a group of people, pedophiles, to rebrand themselves as maps, a minor attractive people. Now this movement was killed pretty quickly, but we really should reconsider it, guys. Because now whenever you go to hunt down a pedophile, it could be a map quest. <laughs> and states, since we're on maps, states all kind of sound like something. Like, I don't look at them for the people, I look at it for the enunciation. What state sounds like a 1920s Chicago mobster who shoots got to ask a woman for directions? Alaska. And what state sounds like a drunk girl shitty she's getting kicked out of a club at midnight? Hawaii! <laughs> and what state best encapsulates living in the Midwest? Missouri. And see, it's easy to make up words. I'll show you. Raw dog. You guys all know raw dog can mean have sex without a condom. But I'm here to tell you, it's also an appropriate answer when someone says, how do you like your cookie dough? Raw dog. <laughs> and Bitmoji. You guys know Bitmoji would be a more realistic animation of an emoji you can send somebody. But when you're at a bar, it's also the appropriate answer when they say, do you want some more to drink? Sure, Bitmoji. <laughs> and propaganda. We all know propaganda is when somebody with power subverts a narrative to fit their narrative, to make their wealth or political cause go ahead. But it's also with this dude on myth outside of CBS jerking off screams at customers. Have a propaganda. <laughs> and words offend too easily nowadays. For instance, I understand somebody can say some hateful shit and make you feel a certain type of way. Totally understand that. But the intensity of that word comes from your reaction. For example, we've all been in this situation before. You'll be in traffic. Somebody's gonna come flying up on your ass, get inches from your bumper, pull up beside you, say, fuck you, motherfucker. Speed up to meet you at the light five seconds later. Now, when they're sitting there hitting that vape pen like drywall, you got two options. <laughs> One, you can retaliate, or two, you can realize that same dude's probably gonna drive on home, hop on the internet, and jerk off the milk porn. And that's why you don't meet your heroes. <laughs> and since we're on the topic of pain for pleasure, any BDSM fans in here? <laughs> any of you dummy mommies and subby hubbies or hell for leather in the bedroom, we got a bit of a suggestion for you. Take that atypical safe word, make it your iPhone passcode. Turn intercourse into an interrogation. <laughs> a real Guantanamo lay. <laughs> And everybody loves a surprise party, until Chris Hansen walks in. <laughs> and I had a buddy that was blessed and cursed. Dude had a hog on him that looked like a tree trunk. No woman could have successfully perform oral on him. No man, I'm sure, could either. He saved my phone as a headless horseman. <laughs> and I'll end on this one. Incest porn's pretty big today for some reason. And I think I figured it out, guys. It's the last place in America that the family's coming together. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank
different. I feel like I need to call my mom after this. I'm just like, you know what? I'm really glad that we have a good community of relationship. That's it. <laughs> Guys, your next performer, he's going to be headlining Jenna's charity show. I'm not going to sit in this chair. That's dangerous for me. No, no, no. 